This is finding the cube root with a zero in the middle. We are going to continue using the hierarchical cubes. For this example, we are going to find the cube root of 64,964,808. The first step we're going to do again is mark off our periods. So we'll count over three digits and mark. Our answer will have three digits. We're going to start by taking the blue cube as our 100 cube. We can mark this on our paper. And our first period is 64. The students can tell me that the cube root of 64 is 4. So we have 4 cubed equals 64. We're going to subtract 64 from 64. And we're left with 0. We can bring down the next digit, which is 9. And then we're going to be finding our next layer, which will be 100 squared times 10. And we'll be doing research to find the second digit. We're going to build our next layer, which will be the 100 square. And it's 10 tall. We're going to be researching for the second digit, which will be the tens. And we have that. And we can come over here. And we know that we have to find our 10 digit, we can take 3n squared. We know that n is equal to 4. So we have 4 squared 3 times, which is equal to 48. So we're going to take 9 and divide that by 48, which gives us 0. So we have 4 squared times 0 3 times. And that's going to give us 0. So we're going to remove this layer. And then we can continue on. The next layer that we can build will be our 100 times 10 squared. So we have 10 squared, 100 tall. We have three of those. And we can start putting them around our 100 cube. But the students will soon see that they don't fit. And if we go over to our paper, we can confirm this. So this is going to be our 100 times 10 squared three times. But we know if we fill this, these numbers in, that we have 4 times 0 squared three times, which is also 0 again. So again, we can put this layer, we can put it back at the top of the rug. We won't be able to use that. So we can try the next layer, which will be we have our 100 square, and that's unit tall. And we're going to research to find our units for this one. So we're going to come over here. And again, we're going to use the 3n squared. So we're going to take 96 and divide that by 3n squared, which is 48. So we have 96 divided by 48, which is 2. So 2 is our trial root for the units place. And we can fill that in. So we have 100 squared, which is 4 squared, multiplied by the units, which is 2. And we're going to take that 3 times. We have 96. So we're going to subtract 96 from 96. And that gives us 0. To represent that we have zero in the tens place, we're just going to use some white strips of paper. And that's going to hold the place for the tens. Now we can move on to the next layer, which is going to be our 10 cube. And we know that 10 is equal to zero. And that's not going to fit into our cube that we're building. So we can keep this at the top and record that. 10 cubed is going to be equal to 0. And then we can bring down our next digit. Mm -hmm. So I have 4. 
So then the next one is going to be. So then we have our next layer, and we can bring these down, and again, see if we can find a place to work these into our cube. It doesn't look like they're fitting. So we can go back to our work, and we're multiplying hundreds times tens times units six times. We know that that is zero, so we can remove our hundreds times tens times units and put those at the top of the rug. And I can bring down my next digit, which is eight. We're going to be looking for the hundreds times unit squared three times. We have hundreds, which is four, times the units, or two squared, and that's three times. And that is 48. So we have 48 minus 48. And once again, that's zero. Let's represent the hundred units square. We have our unit square, 100 high and that does in fact fit into our cube, going out and building up. Next, we'll look at our 10 squared unit high. And again, this isn't going to fit with our cube. If we go over to our paper, if we bring that over to our paper, we can see that we have another zero with our 10 squared units. Mathematically, I know that my 10's unit squares are not going to fit their zero. I know that I can work that out with the equation. And so I can move right on to my unit cube. I'll bring down the last digit, which is eight. And the students can tell me that 2 cubed is equal to 8. I can bring that down to represent it. And I've built my cube. I know that 2 cubed is equal to 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. And the students can check their work. 402 cubed or 402 times 402 times 402 is equal to 64,964,808.